Hello, it's your favorite sports dunk here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the fastest growing community on YouTube. Remember, nightcap doesn't happen without you. So please subscribe or you're going to make Ocho cry. Check this out, Gail. ESPN released their list. ESPN released a, a list of 20 players the most to gain or lose this postseason. If you had, okay, here's some of the players. Jason Tatum, Nikola Jokic, Zion Williamson, Joel Embiid, Jimmy Butler, Shea Gill. Just, if I said, Gill, name the five players that have the most to gain this postseason, who's number one on your list? The most to gain? Yes. I'll say, is this just winning or just playing? Very. He has, the, he has the most to gain this postseason. So if he, I mean, obviously a championship helps everybody, but yeah. who do you think would gain the most? Gain the most? Um, I'll say somebody who needs it. Probably Shea, Zion, Ant Man. Um, Tatum, right? The problem Tatum would be first. Tatum would be first on my list because no, so he's the guy that's been to the NBA. He's been to the NBA Finals and mm -hmm. he didn't play well. He's been to the uh, conference finals a couple of times. So now if he gets their deal at his age, what's he, 25, 26? Now he gets to exhale. But he has to see the problem with Tatum is the reason I didn't rank him number one is because he's been there. He's been there lost. He went to the championship. He went to the Eastern Conference Finals. He scored. He's we done seen him do it all besides. Yes. Him. So if he gets to the first and second round and he averaged 50 the whole time, we don't care. No, because we're going to say, yeah, we for the very reason that you just said, we just saw him go to the NBA Finals. We see him go to the Eastern Conference Finals. So him getting to the first round of average of 50, we don't care. When you go when you gonna add 18 to the to the Boston Celtics. That's why I said he has nothing that he he don't he can't be number one in gaining something because the only way he gains is if he wins it. Zion yes. doesn't have to win. See, Zion yes. out there score 44 rounds and he's back. Right. Shea, Shea with 22, if he wins the first round, Shea is boom. Same thing with Ant-Man. See, everybody else, if they get out of the first round or have a great first round, they their stock rises. Yes, but just imagine if Tatum, what it would say. I think Kevin Durant has a lot to prove, uh, again, by a championship. Because guess what, Gil? Y'all said I ain't won nothing outside of Golden State. Y'all yep. make it seem like I, I, was, I wasn't Kevin Durant. He's like, I'm Kevin Durant. Y'all know who I am, right? You know I'm KD. Mm -hmm. So just imagine him winning outside of Golden State. I think he has to have a lot to gain this postseason because it hadn't gone well for him since he's been out of Golden State. Yeah, that's what I said. With him, for him to get any recognition or go into the next level, he actually has to win a championship. Yes, yes, yes. He, that's why I believe he has the most to gain because if he went, nobody else is... Even if, even if, even if the guys you mentioned, if Shea wins a championship, it won't be as big as Kevin Durant because Kevin Durant has to. He doesn't have to, but they're not gonna let him. They're not gonna let him forget, bro. You ain't won nothing outside of Golden State. As a matter of fact, you ain't even been back. You ain't even been back to a finals since Golden State. You, you remember when? You remember that playoff series with? Um, see, this can this can happen for Shea. Zion or Ant Man or mostly Zion. You remember when uh, Rose went up against um, Boston? Yeah, and Rose was the triple double. Him and Rondo was going back and forth. Mm -hmm. Both those names elevated, and they didn't do much after the first round, right? But because how they played, it put them in another in, into another level. That's what I'm right. saying. With him, he has the he has the highest – he can gain a lot because he can become the face of the, the NBA. That? The championship. So wouldn't that be the most to gain? <laughs> but he has to lose because if he don't – but that's what I'm saying. It's either championship or none. Even everybody yeah. said if you don't win a championship, it's a bust. Well, that's so, where he is now. That's where he is now in his career. That's, that's where Kevin – I mean, there are certain guys like Jason Tatum, 
KD, LeBron, Steph Curry. It's championship or bust. What, what good is it going to a couple of rounds? It don't do anything, especially Steph, LeBron, and KD, because they've all won championships. They've all won titles. So when it going into winning the first round or winning a couple of rounds, it doesn't do anything for them. Now, I mean, for Shea Gilgis, yeah, he wins a round eight. Nobody really expected them to be where they are. And yeah. man, nobody expected them to be where they are. So that's really, really good. But Jason Tatum, he can gain not only a championship, but now he gets to stake a claim. Hey, when uh Steph and Clay D and Steph and the LeBron leave, your boy got first dibs on face of the league. Now, but now look at this. Now let's say Ant Man goes to the second round, and that first round he averaged 35, and that second round he averaged 35, and they lost. Going into the next season, he's gonna be the face coming in. He don't gotta win championship. If Jason Tatum wins, Jason Tatum gonna be wins a championship. Yeah, but Tatum don't. But do you see what I mean? Uh, Ant Man don't need a championship. No, Tatum has so much success. Not full success, but it had enough success so early that we are demanding results. Like he's the age of Kevin Durant, right? LeBron James. And uh, and Kirk, he's only 26 years old. I tell you, another guy that got something to gain. I gained a whole lot. Dame Dollar. Yeah, he, yes. Dame Dollar. Yes. He has a lot. A championship would go a long long way because he got Giannis. This is the best player he's ever played with. I would put him, yes. Because he's never been far in the playoffs. And if he gets to the if he gets to the Eastern Conference Finals or just ball out, get to the second round or the championship, he he goes into another dimension too. The, the, no, a, he can't. He can't because he's been to the Western Conference Finals with less. He was brought. He wanted to go to a team that gives him an opportunity to compete for a title. He went to the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis is a top three player. No matter who you poll, Giannis is going to be one of the top three players. Okay, mm-hmm. that's where Dame is. So he has a guy that most of the time he had guys that were guards like him. CJ was a guard. Yep. Anthony Simons was a guard. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Jeremy Grant was a uh, a two, oh. but he mainly played small forward. You got the total opposite of what you are. You got a team that can compete for a title. He has to go all the way. Yeah, I mean, you know, just for him personally, but when you're talking about that next next step, like it's unfortunate that Tatum has had success as a young dude, but it's weird to have a 26 year old and you're saying <laughs> bus or chip. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because you because we've seen because at some point in time, Gil, man, you got to stop teasing us. Like yeah. You're still teasing us. And I understand. And I think LeBron said something about this. He's like, look, Jordan was how old when, when he won? Um, um, I was at a certain age when I won. Everybody's not going to be like, everybody's going to be like Magic. Well, we ain't going to ever see a Magic again. Ain't nobody coming out their rookie year and, and winning finals and winning finals MVP. That ain't happening. Mm-hmm. And the likelihood of you getting with Kobe and winning at that age, because who else is going to go to a team that has a guy as dominant as Shaq was. Shaq mm-hmm. was in his absolute prime. He was dominating. Give Kobe a chance. Kobe could do what he was do. Now, at the tail end, Kobe had caught up. It's like, okay, yeah, I'm Co- I'm the Kobe being Bryant that I believe that I could always be. Yeah. But what guy, Ant-Man, look, I like Cat. But Cat and Rudy Gobert together ain't Shaq. No, no, no. That, that's... <laughs> so, but... so as great as Ant-Man is, he doesn't have what Kobe had, which is a prime Shaq. Yeah. And nobody has a prime. They ain't going to ever be another Shaq. Mm-hmm. Never. You're never going to see a guy that big, that athletic. And I know Joel B, but people don't realize how athletic Shaq was. Shaq could run. Shaq was mobile. Shaq was agile. Yeah. Yeah, he had skill. And you, and we, we're not going to see that. So to be able to pair somebody like an Ant-Man, like you said, he's 22. Okay, well, you would have to put him with like a Joel Embiid mm-hmm. because Joel Embiid can play on the block. Cat don't really be trying to play on the chat. Cat try to say, I'm the best shooting big man. I'm the best shooting big man ever. And Ant Man said, Get your big ass down there and let me dump you the ball to the post. But he said, Well, the Rudy hogging it up too, though. Yeah. But if I had to rank, I would say, 
if he was healthy, I would say Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid. He has a lot to prove. Payne, Jason Tatum. Luca. I don't even know why. And Kevin Durant. I don't even know why they got Giannis on here. Why? Why they, First of all, why they got Nikola Jokic on here? What are you going <laughs> to The man yeah. about to win his third MVP. No, you know what I'm saying? So, so guys like him, Jokic, right? And this is the sad part. Like, he didn't have no pressure when he won the, the one, right? No, nobody put him in that. You, if you win, you win. He won one. There's no pressure on him winning it again. If he doesn't win, no one's going to say anything about his legacy. Same thing with Giannis. Why he won one, so no one is really putting him in that category. It's like he gets to go unnoticed. Um, no one really cares about Jimmy Butler winning no. or not. Even How to get Tobias Harris over here? Uh, uh, like Luca. No one. No one cares if Luca wins the championship because you know it's. You know what I mean, <laughs> right? They, but but here's the thing, no Gil. We've seen him. He got to the Western Conference Finals, what, a year and a half, uh, not just last season, but the year before. And we've seen him give the Clippers a much more dominant team, give mm-hmm. them all they can stomach with oh. just him by himself. Mm-hmm. So, and he's average, he's going to lead the league in scoring. At some point in time, he's going to have to turn that. It's kind of like Mike. Mike was averaging 32 and 33. And he's like, yeah, that's fun to watch. but uh. When we gonna hear some some ching, some some clinging, that's rings in your pocket. We don't hear that yet. And Luca's gonna get there because at some point in time, Gil, he's gonna have to turn those stats into a title. Yeah, that's what I said with these guys. When we're, when we're talking about it, when you're talking about like Tatum and Luca, these guys are so young. They're, they're, what is the pressure so high on these guys? when everybody else was 29, 30, 31, 32, right. when he was winning. So, like, with Luka, Tatum, like, I just think Tatum is – he he set the bar so high that he needs a chip to go into another atmosphere when the other younger guys, they just need to have great playoff games and they're going to get a lot of recognition. Right. Like Zion, like Zion, let's say the Pelicans upset them and Zion's averaging 28 and eight. Zion is back. Yeah. They, they're going to be – good. Zion, Zion get all his momentum back going into the summer. Pelicans gonna get TV games next year because Zion did his thing in the playoffs. Right, but they they put some guys on the list. They just put some some guys on the list. Like Kawhi, like Kawhi, like Kawhi don't have no pressure. Jokic don't have no pressure. Giannis really don't have no pressure. But uh, now, hey Gil, but here's hey, the thing. On, let's just say for pressure. Let's say for the sake of argument, Yoke wins his third MVP. In a four-year span, he wins the Finals MVP. Mm-hmm. Where you ranking him? As in, as in, as for what? Overall totality. Behind Tim Duncan. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? So I mean, is he a top ten? But player? I, but he's gonna be. He, hey, he inside the top fifteen. Yeah. No, of course. Yeah. Hell yeah, he had a top side of the top 15. Yeah. I mean, three MVPs, regular season, two finals MVPs, and he 28. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. You best around to get a fourth MVP, uh, uh Gil, you got to put him in the top 10. I'm sorry. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, like let, let's also say Larry Bird got three MVPs back to back to back, and he ain't, you can't convince everybody he's a top 10 player. I don't know why they're leaving him out. Yeah, so you know what I mean it's <laughs> hey, but I but here's the thing. Now, if we give him people credit for three people championships, he's the last man to do it. And he did it in the era with Michael, with Kareem, with Moses Malone, with Magic Johnson. Look at Carl Malone. Who? Bird. Huh? When he got those finals, if yes, yes, Dr. J. Yep. And all those guys, with the exception of uh, I wouldn't say. Doc was in his prime. Kareem really wasn't in his prime. He wasn't in his prime, yeah. No, nah, no. Nah. But that's what I'm saying. But, but, uh, but everybody else was. <laughs> and, it, and, it, and you can't get a, a real nice 55% that he's top 10 player. So that's, you know. And that lets you know how much they really do care about that, that the Demaculades in a sense. Yeah, because he got three, he got I mean, three titles, three mm-hmm. uh, MVPs, two finals MVPs. 